Well, most New Mexico students are coming up on a year of remote learning, but a bill being introduced this legislative session may get students back to in person learning before that happens. News 13's Annalisa Pardo is live tonight from her home to explain. Annalisa? Dean, this bill has bipartisan support and aims to give control back to local school districts, letting them decide if and when to return to in person learning. Republican Representative James Townsend from Artesia is set to introduce a bill aimed at getting New Mexico students back into the classroom safely as soon as possible. I think it is our responsibility as legislators, as parents, and as grandparents on my, on my part that we get our kids back in school. The bill deems schools as essential for taking care of students' academic and socio-emotional needs. It gives authority to local school districts to confer with health officials and decide if and when to return to hybrid learning, rather than having them follow broad guidelines set by the state. But it also says schools must offer all virtual options for parents who want to keep their kids remote. We ought to push the, the control to the local level. Let those elected officials, those school board members who know their capacity, who know their communities, and they're going to get their kids back in school safely. Last semester, the state allowed school districts to reopen in a hybrid model, kindergarten through fifth grades, after meeting state guidelines and only if their county was in the green, meaning there was a low infection rate. This semester, only those schools can reopen again, even if they're in a county that is in the red, like McKinley County, where elementary schools are reopening, despite the county having one of the highest infection rates in the state. Other counties whose schools ha were allowed to open, but those schools that remain open, their data is now worse than the counties where the schools never were allowed to operate. And so it's really a head scratcher for superintendents, for educators, and the parents of families who really wish their kids were back in school. The House bill has bipartisan support. Many times the biggest complaint we have is that local school districts don't have enough control and they know their students and staff the best. So I think this is a measure to say we we hear you. We tried. We tried desperately and I don't I'm not belittling anyone for trying because they have tried. But kids of that age need more than just a monitor and a screen. Now, Representative Townsend says he's he plans to file the bill on Monday. Dean. All right, Annalisa, thank you. Now, just last week, Public Education Department Secretary Ryan Stewart told KRQE he hopes to expand eligibility for more schools to move into the hybrid model as early as this semester, but he did not say when that might happen.